Hi. I really did not expect to be here today. I'm Ghost Critic and you have hit the play button for New Comic Book Day UK style because of the bank holiday we had to wait a day for our comics to arrive so I've just got back from the comic book store and I still wasn't genuinely going to do a video because Midweek between Christmas and New Year is notorious for, you know, not a lot of stuff coming out. However, I think I ended up with about seven or eight books on my pull list this week, which was um, pretty frightening for me, given I just had to pay out for Christmas. So, I just thought, well, let's do a video. Um, that's the reason why I put up uh, Boxing Up 2017 yesterday, because... I didn't think I was going to have many comic books, I wasn't going to do a video, and I wanted to give you something. And I want to thank everyone who's already uh, started watching that hour-long video. Um, I do appreciate it. it is a very long video, and you can watch it and stop it and start it as many times as you want. I don't expect you to sit there and watch the whole thing in one sitting. My God, you'd have to be crazy. Um, so... Yes, that's what's been going on with me. I hope you all had a great Christmas, got everything you wanted. Um, I got some fantastic comics and uh, graphic novels. If you follow me on Twitter, at Ghost Critic, uh, you will have seen me post up the pictures. I won't be doing a kind of Christmas comic book haul video here. Just go and follow me on there or just check out the pictures on my profile to see what I picked up. But um, I was very, very, very very happy. Um, let's get on with this week's comics. Um, there's nothing from Image, but there's plenty more from everywhere else. Um, issue number 10 from Valiant Comics is Exo Man of War from Matt Kint. Uh, this storyline is Hunters, and we have this kind of intergalactic alien bounty hunter uh, who's uh, going to try and off Arik. Um, because obviously now he's the emperor of this planet. Um, a lot of people aren't very happy, but this has been a fantastic story. The artwork has just been phenomenal. Um, each artist that has come on for each story arc um, have this wonderful painted style that is just that gorgeous to look at and really kind of elevates this book from just being a kind of Conan in space type of uh, deal, but definitely worth a pick up. Um, uh, yes. Aftershocks, Beck, Black Eyed Kids, issue 15, hasn't been around for a while, and I don't think we're really going to see this again. Um, this is the end of season one, but I've got a feeling this season will have its cancellation. There's a bit in the back on this from the writer, um, just thanking everyone. Uh, this is the end of season one. And he's not even sure there will be a season two. Um, let's hope the cliffhanger on this isn't ridiculously wide open uh, and um, really annoys me that there is no kind of at least some sort of finality to this particular season because I really don't think we'll see this book again. I don't hear anyone else talking about it anymore. Um, and I just was me being stubborn and uh, hoping something good would come of it but I don't think it's got that rabid of a fan base that will people will be screaming for it to come back. A um, couple of issues from DC, issue 37 of The Flash and we've got um, Captain Cold there um, and we've got this whole weird He's running all the kind of crime from underneath Iron Heights prison. I don't quite know how that's worked out, giving the security in this prison, but it's happened and will probably be explained a little bit more, hopefully, in this issue as it expands more and the Flash seems to have found the layer. But as I've always said, covers can be very misleading. The final part of um, the Commandy Challenge, and we have a slew of writers and artists on, the, on this one. Um, I love the fact that it says on here, we solved it, have you. Not sure there was actually anything to solve, but we'll find out. Um, 
If you've already watched my Boxing Up video, you will have already heard me speak about this title as a whole. And I was so excited for it at the beginning. I was so full of passion about it. I wanted it to be just that kind of spectacular homage to one of my favourites, if not the favourite creation of Jack Kirby. And as the series went on, there were brief flashes, but ultimately, I can't recommend it. You, you have to be a, a kind of die-hard, either Kirby or Commandy fan to uh, want to get this in any kind of collected work that I'm sure it will come out um, on out as. Uh, but we've got Gail Simone and here, we've got Paul Levitt, we've got Ryan Sir, Garcia Lopez and a slew of uh, artists and colourists at the bottom there. I'm sure you've got your own copy. Um, but yeah, it's over. Let's see how they do it, how they solve it. Um, and the rest are from Marvel. And we've got issue 18 of X-Men Blue. Current storyline is this cross-time capers. We've got the, um, the X-Men kids hopping around time lines and uh, they ended up at the, la at the end of the last issue confronting the original, right from the very beginning, Generation X team. Um, way back when um, Chris Pacello, one of my favourite artists, was uh, drawing it. Um, so yeah, it's fun. It's it's kind of that youthful adventuring. How I don't know. With all these hearing about all these cancellations of Marvel titles that are probably not doing very well sales wise for Marvel. I don't know how well this book is actually doing, but I would class it as one of the kind of lower tier X titles that could be cancelled at any moment. And given the storyline that they're currently doing, where the fact that our kind of teenage versions of the X-Men from the 60s are now in the present day, and it's causing all these kind of time ripples and distortions, um, I think I did say it on um, Twitter uh, the other day that it would actually be interesting and a great new X title if they put back these kids in their own time but still have the knowledge of what they'd gone through in our present day, their future, and they could then have new X adventures and give it that kind of 60s Silver Age feel to it. Get Mark Wade and Chris Samney on it. They would do, they would bang it out of the park. Um, but Marvel, if you're listening, I'll give you that idea for free. <laughs> Uh, we've got issue 190 of Moon Knight and the crazy runs in the family storyline. Uh, we're going to get Moon Knight and the kind of moon avatar, uh, Khonshu going up against the sun god, um, Ra. Very excited for this. I've liked what... Um, a uh, new writer, uh, is it Max Bemis? Yeah, Max Bemis has done with this, continuing on with the last volume by Jeff Lemire, um, playing again with the dysfunctional split personality thing, but twist, giving it that little extra twist to make it, um, you know, a little bit different from what we've had before. The fact that all these um, personalities um, can now basically come in and out whenever they want, and they don't trust certain of the personalities. I'm sure that's part of a mental disorder that it is um, true and medically possible, um, but I just think it's a nice little quirk for uh, this continuing, continuing run of Moon Knight. And finally, um, we've got Garth Ennis and Parlov's uh, Punisher, uh, Platoon, this, I'm guessing it's a mini series. I somehow missed out on issue three. I'm still waiting for that from my comic book store. This is issue four, his kind of time in um, the army. I'm, I don't know, is it the Vietnam War? Um, but it's one of those kind of flashback tales um, told by his first platoon that he ran, that he led. Um, but it's been great stuff. When Garth Ellis gets onto the Punisher, you know you're always in for a good time. 
They were the comics books I picked up this week. There will definitely not be, because I'm away, uh, a comic book review video of those comics. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'll put some thoughts out there on Twitter about them. Just some sh brief little mentions, so look out for those. I hope you all have a very happy new year for um, this coming weekend. Uh, I'm really looking forward to having some more time off work. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Uh, so yes, uh, happy comic book reading for whenever you manage to pick your comic books up. And a very happy new year and I'll see you in 2018. Don't forget to thumb this video up and like it. Comment down below, tell me what you've been picking up this week. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, Hit the red button. Hit the subscribe button. Just hit it. Press it. Bye-bye. <laughs>